Oxford University boasts some of the prettiest academic buildings in the world. These grand palaces of learning are largely the preserve of the humanities. But because Professor Robin Dunbar is a scientist, he's forced to work here, in this architectural abomination, out of the sight of tourists and university website photographers. Here, geographically and aesthetically isolated, Dunbar causes people pain. <laughs> because he claims it throws light on why we laugh. So what we're doing here is we're looking to see whether pain threshold increases after you've laughed. First, the baseline measurement. OK, now. We have a winner. Stop. Good work. And now, the fun part. Professor Dunbar is an experimental psychologist and an evolutionary biologist. Which is quite a mouthful, but what it means is he's able to both formulate ideas about our species development and also test them in a lab. And one of his main ideas is about grooming. Monkeys and apes create their friendships, their relationships with each other and thereby bond their social groups by grooming, social grooming, grooming each other. It turns out that that light stroking triggers an endorphin response in the brain. <laughs> Robin's theory holds that laughter is effectively remote tickling, producing the same chemical high. And if he's right, the laughing volunteers in the lab will now be flushed with pain-beating endorphins and they'll beat their previous times in the wall-sit test. OK? Go. It's direct evidence that laughter does produce endorphins. Yes, um, you'd normally expect something between, on average, I don't know, about five seconds and anything up to 20 seconds increase in time, and that's pretty much what we have here. All statistically significant. <laughs> 